If these protected areas could speak, what would they say? They would tell tales of ancient mountains, teeming wetlands, and pristine coastlines. The Cape Nature Way is a holistic approach to sustainable design. We focus on developing nature-based recreational and tourism products that showcase the natural wonders of our province. Our goal is to make these protected areas sought after destinations accessible to all and attractive to a wider audience. Our projects are carefully planned to minimize the harm to the environment while maximizing green building technology. In the last two financial years, Cape Nature's revenue has grown by 20% and the visitor numbers has increased by 43%. What we do at Cape Nature is we look at the environment and, and we try to respond our um, developments to that. We, we assess the landscapes and we look for opportunities. So we don't try to force a development into the ground. Um, we look at what we can tease out of it in the simplest and easiest ways and bring the best um, products to our customers. We apply green building best practices, use low and low embodied energy construction materials, implement low energy appliances and lighting, utilize solar water heating and even heat our eco hot tubs with eco logs. Rainwater harvesting, waterless toilets, wooden walkways and planted roofs with indigenous vegetation are just a few of our eco-friendly choices. Even our chandeliers and lights are crafted from recycled bottles and wooden floored showers allow water to flow through. Risks involved in building in nature. Nature is challenging. Um, our reserves are rural, remote finding technology and products and services that, that match our needs. We often find that the industry is, is very much geared towards urban development. Um, people build houses and offices and then it's a challenge to get a building into a protected area um, while still trying to be environmentally friendly and then bringing the best product. Cape Nature's approach to developing in protected areas um, outside of the national and provincial policy and regulatory framework. Each of our protected areas has a conservation development plan which clearly demonstrates and zones the reserve according to activities and developments. Um, this is a, a well consulted plan with our scientists, our operational staff and our tourism staff and it really dictates where in the landscape we can do the appropriate tourism developments. It would also consider things like carrying capacity and the various types of activities we would be allowed to do within these protected areas. When you look at the economic benefits for the entity, we then also consider what is our return on investment, what is our occupancy rates, to look at whether we are operating viable tourism products. And then lastly, is the societal and the community benefits. And here we particularly look at benefits such as job creation, both temporary jobs and permanent jobs before and after the development has taken place. And also, what is the knock-on effect of tourism in the broader community and the region? For example, people visit our places, they come from far and near um, and they do consume local products. Cape Nature has received multiple accolades for its um, ecotourism developments, um, specifically along the lines of sustainable construction within protected areas. One of the awards that definitely stands out for Cape Nature is the Halsam Foundation Award. This is an international award that was given for our Oderbosch development at Koffelberg for sustainable development and architecture. One of Africa's top finest destinations bestowed on our Khamkaber Nature Reserve. Algeria campsite has also won the South African Institute of Civil Engineering Award. We've also won an award by the Cape Institute for Architecture um, for our Mbali collection development at Kochelberg Nature Reserve. The future of green investments, I think, in not just Cape Nature, but, but in the province and in the country, 
it's looking great. Um, you know, we continue to push the green envelope, looking at new technologies and new developments, and also partnering with, with like-minded individuals. So Cape Nature has a pipeline of tourism development projects um, that we, over the next short to medium term, that we would like to roll out um, within our protected areas and obviously green investments is at the forefront of what we do and that will drive the agenda going forward for Cape Nature. So in terms of innovation and technology, it's very exciting to be at the cutting edge. Uh, we look at a lot of interesting um, products and features. At the beginning, when you're, when you're surveying land, now that we can use drones, we can get high, um, high resolution photography for layouts, for wayfinding, things like um, panel efficiency to battery technology, inverters, all of these things are becoming more and more accessible. So those things become um, very good solutions for remote site development. So the role that tourists play in sustainable tourism, I, I think it's a twofold answer. I think when we build something, we want people to use it in a typical way. We want people to have a proper leisure tourism activity. But at the same time, we want people to pay attention to the type of building that they're in, to the type of environment they're in. And we really want to be at the forefront of that behavior change. Tourism Month 2023 carries a global message of putting people and the planet first. It's about investing in education and skills, sustainable infrastructure and innovation. It's about creating opportunities that benefit us all. This is what Cape Nature has been doing. We've received accolades and recognition, but our core objective remains the same, to create more and better jobs, provide relevant training, build resilience, and protect cultural and natural heritage. We inspire responsible tourism leadership and continue to tell sustainability stories. We are all in this together and we'll need to instill a collective message to South Africans and the rest of the world. We'll need to all become ambassadors for our country.